Hello, I'm Janae Tibshirani with 90 at 9 brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. China's central bank governor has warned the country's corporate debt levels are too high and are stoking risks for the economy, just as highly leveraged Chinese companies have gone on an overseas takeover binge. He warned business leaders at a meeting in Beijing over the weekend that the ratio of lending to gross domestic product is becoming excessive. The Financial Times estimates corporate debt in China has risen to about 160% of GDP, while total debt is at about 230%. Americans are starting to worry about gas prices going up this year. The University of Michigan's preliminary consumer sentiment index for March was worse than expected, hitting a five-month low. The study's chief economist says consumers no longer expect the economy to outperform the 2.4% rate of economic growth recorded in the past two years. Fonterra is tipped to report a strong result when it releases its half-year results on Wednesday. Rock-bottom dairy prices lower input costs for the manufacturing and dividend-paying side of its operation, which paves the way for higher margins for its value-added products. A Forsyth Bar analyst expects the cooperative's earnings before interest and tax to leap 83% for its interim dividend to increase 10 cents to 18.5 cents. This would partly offset some of the load facing farmers. Fonterra has also hinted it may unveil support me measures for farmers when the result is announced. The European Central Bank's chief economist says there's scope for the bank to cut rates even further if negative shocks should worsen and inflation needs an additional boost. His call pushes against sentiment from the ECB president who last week conceded the bank was unlikely to cut rates further. In New York, the benchmark US Treasury 10-year yield has fallen over the weekend to 1.88%. The US crude oil price is continuing to strengthen and is now just above $39 a barrel, while Brent is just over $41 a barrel. The oil price has tracked up around $10 over the last month. New Zealand's Minister of Energy and Resources will today announce which sections of land and sea it will make available for oil and gas companies to explore in the 2016 block offer. The oil glut saw companies commit to spending 96% less in last year's offer compared to 2014. The gold price is slightly lower than this time on Friday at $1,254 an ounce. The New Zealand dollar has weakened after ending Friday on a high. It's at 67.9 US cents, 89.3 Australian cents and 60.2 Euro cents. The TWI is lower at 71.2. I'm Janae Tipsharani and that was 90 at 9 brought to you by interest.co.nz.